Hi my good people, my name is Lucy for those who are new and welcome and welcome again, welcome to the family and on today's video we are going on today's video we just want to, to see the differences between Kenya and South Sudan so let's dive in. So like I said, uh, in my previous videos, housing is very expensive, it's, la it's a whole process on its own, unlike the way we do it in Kenya, housing here is it's so not the way we do monthly, like in, in Kenya we do monthly payment, and uh, you pay a deposit of the rent, like two months deposit or one month deposit. So if let's say you 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 going to rent a house in Kenya, you pay for the current month you're in and for the like you pay like three months rent when you're getting a house in Kenya, three months rent. The current rent and two months. Uh, I hope that just makes sense. But it doesn't mean that you won't pay for the for the next month. You will pay, but that's just a deposit. So here, the way they do it in South Sudan, you they, they do six months and one year up front. Up, up front rent payment of six months and one year, depending on how the owner one six one six months or one year and uh, for you to get a proper house it has to the price range the for proper housing in south sudan ranges from 250 dollars and above i wouldn't say you will get a proper house for 100 dollars and below that one i won't promise you because it, again, it depends with what, what you really want. But for a proper, proper housing, it starts from 250, 250 to 300 and above. So I hope that gives you a, a hint of how things are done here in South Sudan. And for me, I think that and. Generally, housing here is very expensive, and the way the kind of way they do, they, they, they build their houses are bungalows. We do have flats here for rentals, but most of the houses are bungalows. Yeah. So something else that is different is the weather. The weather here is very hot as compared to as opposed to Kenya. Kenya the weather is cold. Most places are cold in Kenya. And I'm not saying we don't have hot areas. We do have hot areas like uh, for instance Mombasa Mombasa is a hot region. And uh, another thing is the currency. So the currency that is used here is the South Sudanese pound. Like what I showed you, really like this one. This is a Sudanese pound. This is 1000 bob, which is how much? 1000 bob. Let's see, 1000 bob, which is 250 shillings, two 250 Kenya shillings, and. Apart from the South Sudanese pound, they also use a dollar. Yes, they use a dollar. Like you could get into okay, not all places. You 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 just pull out your dollar and you're able to buy things. Not all places. That if they're, like when you go to a restaurant, you can use a dollar. You can when you go to the supermarket, you can use a dollar. When you go to and not all places actually they have um, money to to exchange. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, 
but that's what is widely used here. Either the dollar or, or the dollar. South Sudanese pound. As opposed to Kenya. Kenya is what I know is I think there are places and I think there are places that you can use the, the dollar. But unless you go change from the, All places you access with the Kenya shields. Something else that is different here is that Kenya we have piped water and our water is treated like it's chlorinated. Uh, something different here in South Nile is that there are no piped water. Piped water. There are a lot of tankers that fill the, the tanks. If I if you're getting me right, there are a lot of tankers. Zile tanks is a trucks is a blue and water. Available water. Clean water. <laughs> yeah. Like in one of my videos, I think you could see that now a lot of houses here have tanks. So they prefer refilling from those trucks. Um, yes. So electricity is also very expensive here, and um, most people prefer using. I'm saying I don't know, but the people I've interacted with have seen they use the charcoal iron box as opposed to the electric iron box simply because. Uh, Electricity is expensive, so as opposed to actually as opposed to Kenya, Kenya electricity is not that expensive. Most people use the electric iron box, and the charcoal iron box was used, but ten like kitambo sana. And I'm not saying they're not people. Then, then there are no people using it. There are people using it, but it's not as, especially the dog guys. Like when you are saying, I'm going to make your charcoal box. But like the the, the tailors and stuff like that. So on to one of the differences I've seen that is how many different of things that are different here is. The housing, like I said in my previous videos, the housing here is um, most people live in bungalows or is in your chin, you want to do any other team. They're not into guru that's that uh, are story buildings. Yeah, that's one difference I've seen and I'm not saying that there are no guru here and I'm also not saying that there are no bungalows or bungalow houses in Kenya. Like they are mixed, but the ones are, you see, the ones that are, I've seen most is the bungalows here and 